still going. Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the adventure and today it is more Premier League action as Leeds United take on Nottingham Forest. Now every game in the final months of the season mean a lot, especially for teams at the bottom and there's about nine teams scrapping to stay in the Premier League. Any three of nine could go down and Leeds and Nottingham are both in the fight. I watch Nottingham Forest quite regularly, especially at the city ground. They're fantastic there, but away from home, they've been poor. Leeds' atmosphere will be out in full force tonight, trying to guide their team to a big three points. If you guys are enjoying the adventures, make sure to smash the subscribe button and let's get off to Ellen Road for this relegation six-pointer. We have made it inside Ellen Road for today's relegation crunch match between Leeds and Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest had the worst away record in the Premier League, only winning one away from home all season. Leeds are decent at home and I'll have an atmosphere to go with it. I've had a look at the Leeds team, it's quite strong. It's good to see Patrick Bamford uh, leading the line. I know they were beaten to Arsenal 4-1, but other than that, they've had a good couple of weeks to be fair, just before the international break. Obviously beating Wolves at Molyneux 4-2 and only just being beaten at Stamford Bridge. It, it's important for them to get three points today and I think they're going to do it. Both sets of fans making an incredible atmosphere already. Here we go then, every point makes a difference at this stage of the season. Leeds versus Nottingham Forest. Let's have a good one. Here we go then, let's have a good one. Here come Leeds, they've started this game very well. It's a good chance. Good block. It's going to be a corner. It's all Leeds at the start of the game, but it's not in a forest who's taking the lead. Didn't get any footage of it. I managed to move because my seat was very, very cramped. I'm on the aisle, got a little bit of room and to be able to record. But it's a brilliant, brilliant goal for the edge of the box. Plays far right into the corner, and Forest lead. The limbs were pretty good as well. I'm sorry I didn't get any footage of it. But yeah, what a big goal that could be. It's a shot, it's all to save for now. Well, I think Leeds are playing some terrific football on the pitch at the moment, but Nottingham Forest do look dangerous on the break. It's making a great contest. Leeds have been so good on this left until the final ball. They're asking for a ball, they're not going to get it. It's really well played. Right across the face of goal. It's a really good chance. Oh, it can't be hooked to the net. It is all Leeds. It's a matter of time before the score. Well, Sinister has been so good on this left, and Harrison's been good on the right, but Nottingham Forest have defended so well. They've had a man to the ball every single time, and Leeds have been playing some great, great football. And Forest have defended to match, to be fair to them. Here he goes again, Sinister. Still going. Time to score it. That's half time. 
Okay, there we go then, half time at Ellen Road, and it is Leeds 2, Nottingham Forest 1. Let's first uh, talk about Nottingham Forest. I thought in the first 10 minutes uh, they were second best. However, they've got two really good chances uh, from set pieces. One of them came off the post, and the other one was brilliantly finished into the back of the net from a strike from the edge of the box. It's a great, great goal back. But every time Nottingham Forest have had the ball, they haven't bothered controlling it in the field. All they've done is try and hoof it, have Loggy go forward on the left to support the left winger, and Brennan Johnson on the right, and Kids White make runs. And they've lost the ball every time, and Lisa dictated and controlled the whole game. Sinister and Jack Harrison have been brilliant, and there's where the two goals have come from. A shot on the edge of the box from Leeds, followed in by Jack Harrison. Good instinct there from, uh, from the Englishman who got Leeds level, and then a brilliant goal, just as you saw at the end there, from Sinistera to get Leeds ahead. He's been brilliant, to be fair, but he does look a little bit leggy because of how much work he's been putting in. Great result for Leeds so far, they can hang on, but Will Forrest come back. Why do they play so different away from home? They're so good at the city ground whenever I see them. They've got to sort it out. Chance for Forrest. Well, Forrest look a little bit better in the second half, but so do Leeds. Leeds keeping the ball nicely, but Forrest moving it in the wide positions, which they needed to in the first half. Can this game get level, or will Leeds get the next goal? But whoever gets it, it's so important. It's either 3 1 or 2 all. It's going to define the game. Massive chance for Leeds, they've won it back so high up the pitch. Gotta make that one count. <laughs> In it comes. Oh. It's well worked. And Leeds. Just about there with it. Chance for Forrest, but what a tackle from Julio Ferpo. Forrest looks so much better in the second half though. Here goes Harrison. Wants to go all the way. That is close. Corner. This game has sparked into life. It's a brilliant game of football. We've got Leeds on the counter at one end and Forrest dictating the play now. They look so much better than they did in the second half. Leeds are trying to defend a 2-1 uh, win. Can they do it? Brilliant play from Leeds. Are you all shit? Let's do the stand on again. Let's go for another one. Oh! Leeds close. We're into added time. Can Leeds hang on or can Forrest nick a point? Well, there we go then, full time at Ellen Road, and it is Leeds to Nottingham Forest. One, I first want to say, I got the score prediction correct before the game. I knew it was going to be 2 1. No, but Leeds had to battle for this win, especially in that last 10 minutes. Forest were pumping the kitchen sink up. I thought Leeds deservedly went into the half time break in the lead. A brilliant goal from Sinistera uh, to get them in front, obviously, from the rebound from Jack Harrison that got them level uh, from a Mangala goal from at the edge of the box from a Nottingham Forest corner. But I thought Forest on the road, I understand why they're not winning this so poor, they boot the ball forward, they don't look like intent, any intent to score, their best player of the ball, Brennan Johnson, was marked out by Junior Firpo, and Jack Harrison was all over the pitch, what a man of the match performance from him, he was exceptional, and Leeds get that massive three points, with Leicester and Bournemouth losing as well, that is a massive result, Nottingham Forest have got to win as many games at the city ground as they can before now in the end, to give themselves a chance to stay up, because away from home, they look awful, brilliant win from Leeds, congratulations to them, atmosphere, on top so there we go guys what a win that is for Leeds if you have enjoyed the adventure make sure to smash the like subscribe down below as the Premier League season is coming to an end there's going to be so many games that mean all the world and this win is massive for Leeds the fans know it and the players did as well hence a lap of honour at the end I'll see you guys in the next one peace out big win for Leeds congrats to them